welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling all right so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the latest developer notes because they mention a bunch of future upgrades that or updates that they are thinking of doing and some quality of life changes as well they want to introduce now i will say this like the quality the, the developer notes is nice and all but they didn't really mention much um well, there's some other stuff I would like them to have mentioned, but they really didn't. But obviously, we still are going to be talking about the gold issue in this game. And uh, the changes that they want to implement as well to just overall improve the quality of life. But um, like I said, I will definitely go ahead and tell my own opinion on that as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise. Um, so that there was no video yesterday, I was preparing for my exam today. And uh, this is my literal first time logging in. And... It's been over like 10 hours since the game I had a reset so I don't have that much actually before the game goes into maintenance uh, not maintenance goes into um, reset so I think I have like four hours three hours so I need to make sure I do a bunch of stuff before the game resets because um, of course I want to get some of the other good rewards now um, if you guys don't know I'm not sure this if this is given to everyone but there is a 20% discount uh, special coupon available i'm not sure if this was something recently given well it's definitely recent because i didn't see this yesterday but i'm wondering how they decide to give this to people because i don't really see any um information oh there we go so i think i found it okay there's a countdown check-in um there's no yeah they don't mention anything about new codes so i don't know who's getting this but i believe i actually saw someone get 100 percent discount so I think where, it depends on how much you spend and then they'll give you some uh, appreciation stuff because that person that I saw who had a 100% discount, he had like 600 um, arise points, which was like over, that's, that's equals to 600 pounds or $600. So definitely that guy's wailing. So me, I didn't do 600 overall. Well, actually if it's 600 from the arise point, that means he spent way more, way more than 600. I've only spent like 300 basically. So yeah, 20%, of course, I'm going to try and use it to buy something that will be useful. Probably this one over here. I need to get some more tickets for Chaihain over here. Anyways, let's go right into it and take a look at uh, the developer notes right now. So let me quickly switch my cameras so you guys can actually go ahead and see. Okay, so let me know down in the comment section if you guys are still currently enjoying the game. Of course um there is some improvements that needs to be done and if you guys want to uh you know talk about some of the issues in the game let me know down in the comment section we can gladly have a nice discussion now before we take a look at the developers um you know patch note let's go ahead and take a look at this latest information regarding some countdown check-ins we are going to be getting so we're going to be getting some login um you know essence stones for 12 days but for 11 days it is 100 so it's uh 1100 and then on the final day um grand so as you can see onto the grand update maintenance we're going to be getting 300 so i believe that's 1500 total um or 1400 yeah, I think it's 1,400 because that's 11. So 1,100 plus 300. So yeah, 1,400, um, you know, essence stones, which would be very, very useful. I'm hoping that when global launch officially happens, we're going to get some huge ass um, reward as well. Not reward, but huge global um, celebration rewards so that we can go ahead and summon if you guys have really used uh, resources for Beck. Um, anyways, going over to the developer notes right here. So they talk about the feedback. So since the start of our early access last month, our team has been running towards an even more significant mission, the grand update. So the grand update is going to be insane, guys. It's going to be new content, new characters, new events. In this developer note, we would like to share some finalized matters about after consideration for improvements and provide a sneak peek at some of the upcoming updates. So from here, they were just mentioning that they previously mentioned that they were thinking of reducing the cost of artifact replacement. Um, so we have promptly addressed feedback that could be quickly implemented through development, which improves, which while improvements of other feedback are still in progress. So the gold cost of artifact replacement will be reduced based on the enhancement tier 
Go repeat rewards for Gates missions will be increased and consider a lower in the difficulty of accomplishing certain events. Um, reflecting the feedback from many hunters, we have decreased the artifact removal cost. Listen, just remove it in general. Like everyone will agree this is just terrible advice, like terrible system in general. Just remove it. Increase the source of gold acquisition. Okay, this is vague, by the way. So it's exciting to say that, the, yo, they're increasing the gold acquisition, but that is very vague. We need to know exact number increase. So we're increasing the gold acquisition by 20%, 30%, 80%. This is extremely vague. So I'm not gonna get too excited just yet because it could be 1% increase, 10% increase, which we don't want. We need more than 10% increase. Okay, although this measure, we hope hunters can provide various artifact stats and experience diverse action gameplay. Thank you for hunters to provide that feedback. Yeah, this video is going to be used as feedback as well. So, factions of the shield skill level up. So, I'm talking, I believe this is the um, anti cheat system. So, they're trying to say they just increased the anti cheat system and whatever. So, that's good for us. Um, the winds of changes. First of all, thank you. Thank you all again. Uh, introduced complete development for major updates mentioned in previous developer notes so diversity how team hoped the hunters will enjoy diverse gameplay through various combinations but they have noticed that some well some of us are not using um you know the the right characters or the the ones they really wanted to, us to use so after analyzing the diverse play patterns of hunters during the past period we have found that various combinations were not being used as intended so yeah so and we are currently working on finding the cause and making improvements that's because certain characters suck so definitely we don't use them it's it's kind of simple but of course like they might have like a hidden feature in the game that we haven't discovered yet so we have to wait and see anyways there are some buffs and nerfs happening over here so demon king's longsword is a powerful yet hard to obtain s rank item in the original story but its power does not seem to be activated uh properly in game therefore the damage will be adjusted upwards based on his advancement tiers so i think this means that they're going to increase the damage basically of the demon king's longsword so that would be interesting to see um the crit hit rate of orc broadsword will be adjusted upon uh upwards based on his advancement tiers i'm guessing this means dupes when it says advancement tiers right it sounds like dupe stuff which obviously free to play players might not be like okay that's that's something we're gonna take a while for us to dupe up um the damage of gold rock gold um armor will be adjusted upon based on the advancements here the shield and damage of knight's killer will be adjusted upwards based on the advancements here the damage of west wind so the most important one west wind the weapon that a lot of people want to talk about and a lot of wep the weapon that people say is the most broken in the game has been reduced so they nerfed west wind which sucks because if you're going to nerf a weapon what about all the people that have invested the um, highly into this weapon because don't get me wrong i know loads of free to play players that have duped up this weapon obviously and have leveled us up to 100 because of how insane it is now that you've nerfed it what are you going to do to compensate those people that have actually you know upgraded this so this is something they need to think about because it just sucks for people um so if you're going to nerf something better implement a way to reset because this can't run i can't lie this is definitely a big issue for me um so we have a couple of issues that they need to fix so with um, Lee Bora there's an issue where two phantom foxes are summoned we'll fix the issue where Wujung super armor was not applied in certain circumstances we'll increase the damage of Han Sung Yi's which, uh, retrieve skill uh, we will fix issues where mana consumption increases abnormally upon reaching advancement tier 1 with uh, Song Chun Yul um, the fixes will happen so the crit damage fix will happen soon um so let's see we'll fix the issue where crit damage stats dealt to magic beast was applied less than intended so this was a major issue yesterday unfortunately like i said i was advising couldn't cover this at all um the rest of the stuff went sorry we're not too exciting in terms of what they want to implement besides of course them saying that um they're gonna add new ways for us to upgrade Song Jin Woo. So at the end of the day, Song Jin Woo became the monarch of shadows, but they want to advance him even more in the game. So there's gonna be more change job systems in the in the future. So that's gonna be really good. Um, Hunter's Wanna Ray 
our team hopes that battles with various hunters will offer a different kind of excitement for Sun Dreamer battle. Fortunately, it seems that hunters are enjoying quite interesting battles through various combination. In particular, we're pleased to know that we've provided different combat and gameplay experience for, by observing hunters challenging dungeons like the Gate of Hell, Cerberus, we hate this boss by the way, and the Runaway Giants Arachnid with different combinations. To provide another layer of enjoyment to in Hunter's combination battles, we are preparing a system with various costumes ooh, for Hunters actively participating in raid and making the dungeon feel like a runaway. We appreciate your anticipation. That's interesting. Um, wait, what is this? Hardship, yep, yep, yep. In the upcoming updates, the addition of new story will introduce the appearance of the almighty shaman um, Kagagan, who Kagagan, and unexpected twists and turns in the adventure. If you haven't equipped artifacts suitable for hunters yet, the new content will demand extreme control and strategy. Basically, telling you it's gonna be hard. Basically, uh, yeah, we need to basically get stronger. That's pretty much it. So if you're free to play, they're telling you to spend. <laughs> Joking or not, just telling you get stronger with your artifact grinds. Um, in addition to, so they're gonna be adding new characters to the. Uh, what's it called to the side stories whatever it's called uh new hunter stories are right right now we only have two characters with the story and i'm pretty sure you guys have already done it completely so they're going to be adding new hunters in there uh power of destruction so the boss of power of destruction uses various lethal moves depending on his phase transition uh we have determined that improvements to the current mechanism are necessary to provide above mentioned enjoyments we are considering various improvements basically the boss right now is just too hard i can't even lie like in terms of dealing damage yes they kind of nerfed it but still we can't even get the high rarity or the high tier uh rewards so they definitely need to nerf it a bit so please do something about that and of course no secret we are getting charhain for global launch so guys get ready for her i am pretty sure you guys already know about that and it turns out i was right i literally made a video going over the expected release date for charhain so once again i am right so everyone is excited about all of these fantastic changes but there is still some stuff we need to fix in this game for example the raid raid is too long like 16 challenges a day it's so long to do it it's so boring it's not fun so i hope they really fix that um let's go ahead and switch into the game right now so yeah raid feature is sucky we don't really like it right now i can't lie it's just it's just too much if i go over to where is it if i go over to game mode so i have four hours before reset apps happens and gates 15 i need to do it's it's something i can't do i literally won't be able to do this um and i hope they can allow us to at least sweep it i i either they increase the sweep we can do because right now you have to spend even money to, to be able to sweep um yeah i might have to change this this is too difficult for my boy yeah it's too difficult yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to say a big no <laughs> um anyways hopefully we can get some more changes to the game besides obviously fixing some of the grinding issues um i would love for them to improve the artifact grind because it's kind of long like artifact drops are sucky and even till this day we haven't gotten good artifact drops people in global when they come into the game are going to be farming for way longer well shorter time so they won't have good artifact set we that have been playing for a long time still don't have good artifact set they need to increase the good artifact drops so that we can keep getting gold um our legendary artifacts dropping every single time because it's going to improve our grinding because right now the game is too grindy in that aspect gates is grindy as hell um artifact grind is kind of long we don't get good good um artifacts even till this day many people don't have good artifacts for their characters it just sucks um what else do they need to do um obviously fix the gold issue well, I'm pretty sure by global launch, hopefully they'll fix the gold issue because it's something they need to absolutely change or the game will die. Because global players will definitely let them know that there is a big issue. Anyways, it's been your boy AC Gamer. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm out.